I don't know what's happening here, Des. Penguin <laughs> getting the opener. Five versus four. Out goes the Nitro. Spirits will lose his life as Fultz finds that kill with a headshot. And that leaves us four versus four. All squared away for the time being for SSG. But this is absolute chaos on the again. top floor, Des. As Penguin once again gets the kill. Headshot onto Rampy. And once again, a C4 now. sails out and finds the explosive kill. Esker, he gains the advantage once again for Parabellum. Three versus two. 50 seconds Fultz. left to go. It's a triple for Fultz. Des, but Canadian's what? down. It's 1v1. And Fultz, he's looking for the ace. He's going to just slow the pace down. He's no going to hold his angle. He needs to oh. find Sonar, and he does. That's all five, Des. SSG come back fighting. Or more specifically, Fultz comes back fighting. I love how he just kind of raises his hands. It's, uh, BDS himself. that need to find themselves their own way or create it as uh, Levy will be able to drop the on, but Rafal's yeah, going to go for a refrag. Yeah, in the meantime, right. the whole chaos is happening yeah, right in front of us. And when Shira hoping to make something happen, picks up one, but there's still one right next to Ebox. That's it, KDS is in between two bodies and, well, that grenade almost makes it for no longer. He's aware there's somebody waiting. It's actually the drop. The grenade no gets him in the end. Renshiro has the double, but they only have 10 seconds. Shaiko digs his way up close as Bride locks up one more. Alamau, he's able to find one more. The diffuser is cold. He's on the floor with a shotgun. Picked back up and dropped. But so oh, Alamau! It's Alamau! One, three, three, beautifully played. He's dancing on the table, and he's the one that keeps himself grooving. Sonar's taken out the equation, and Eska goes for the plant, covered by spirits from blue, sticks it in the long term, and finds himself in a post plant. But Pipes is the point of pressure now. There's a body on site, dirt no longer, but it's Main that becomes the big problem. Spirits goes for the rotate. Are they aware that he's pulled back? They're in a two versus one. They are. Musi is going to head up. His Pino offers the cover. Can he get into the site in time? It's just a few seconds. You've got to look down. You've got to drop the man. You can't quite get him there. It is. Swing through. Oh, yeah. Parabellum. Parabellum. Unbelievable clutch at First the on end. on the board here again for the Giants as they drop one. But oh. uh, not even sure how that happened. But Lunar Metal's going to end up going down there. I think he was dropped by an opponent and the nade was in hand. So that's not entirely his fault. Hysterics now fragging out in the mid round. Trying to mop up the rest of SSG as they are continuing to falter to this Giants attack. Still holding on if only slightly. Canadian now bringing this to a 1v2. Trying to deny K control, but it is going down on the inside of the site. Canadian, leveraging his way out, has intel on the player by blue. There we go. There's the pickup. Won't get the opportunity to immediately deny the planter, but he has oh! even got Canadian's back on the field and he's immediately making the difference for SSG as he gets the 1vx clutch as well as the fourth round for SSG still not a single one on the board for the Giants four versus one Palu quickly pacing his way back up the main stairs to see if he can try and claw himself anything on this rotation decides to head in static oh no. outsmarted Pogma it's popped off and so is Palu D2 oh. dicks two a triple kill for Palu, and suddenly everything has started to come back. Oh! One more than leg, Palu! 1v4 clutch coming in right there. One aided by the Pogmat, the second two coming in by the member moving through construction door into Back the bedroom. The staircase. They might not know how close Palu is or how aggressive he wants to be. Lukid has a bit of cover, has the drop, has oh, a double. double. Handed to him there in that situation as Moringa is taken care of. Raps is concerned about the cover, and it is coming, but a little too late it's nesk though and he wants to take this close with the shotgun popped out they fall and pull away 20 seconds they realize they want to put the pressure onto the side itself they're stacked up on the other side by the door of reading nesk has find himself with three different situations there's the man above though as he takes care of the first pulls himself back 15 seconds goes for the oh, second no way, catches him as he pulls away cleaned up in laundry and now it's 10 seconds yes! he it as well no way you know is literally a 1v3. He can hear the plant going down. He'll be able to deny it. That's huge. And James, as I run out of air here, I beg you, take over for me. It's a quiet moment now for Muzi as he decides how to play this. Psycho's giving him some info, but shut down. Now it's a 1v1, Jess. Redox has to hold on to make sure this round is not thrown away. Muzi, that is everything. Had to double check there for a split second, but 30 seconds remain as the Giants will get two big frags as they force their way in. Lunar Metal now with strong positioning and Rampy with a refrag. 
Lunar on another one on the inside of this round right here. The entry power is unmatched, and he still has an opportunity to pick up more of that forward position in the site. He's the closest ping to Canadian right now. Canadian, speaking of which, trying to play behind the mattress. Oh no! A team oh! at the same time. Canadian going to be able to chuck in the nitro cell, isolate out Speakeasy, and bring this down to a 1v1. Oh only my god! To end it, but Canadian goes for the long range. M5 shot for the perfect the Banshee pass. and Nova's been able to try and stick a plant here around the corner the C4 doesn't quite catch one they're holding the angle they want to swing round they don't need to someone else is there but Harper is able to find one back post plant situation for the first time in this showdown but Harper is still on a bit of a mission here he's just got MV Taylor left he has the vertical control here Nesk has one impact and it's not potentially going to be enough if he doesn't get a very clean shot he's going to try and hold it repositioning a drone getting Getting himself set up, plays the game, hits the old body, doesn't quite catch it. There's the impact. Oh, he gets it! There's the down! Yes. He doesn't have oh, the confirmation! He He's going back, he's not quite sure. He Nesk, you gotta go! A few seconds, stick it, Nesk, Ooh. stick it! You gotta stick it, you cannot let go. Otherwise, you're gonna be tossing this round away, and yet again, we have a Cloud9 round! Where they managed to get the diffuser down, everything is going for them, the miss shot! destruction is lesser than it should be, but the plant, the plant might be happening! It's just in the cubby, right on top of the breach. And Kayak will get it down and immediately peel off. Nine players still alive in the server, but that number's gonna go down very quickly and it begins to drop. Skies with one, then traded off by Virtue. Dark Zero will still have a numbers advantage, but the number advantage that's even more important is the clock, and that one is G2's. NJR now finished. As from above, on repel, Citizen is just too much for him to handle. Mint will watch as his teammates drop around him, but he's still got two more at his side. He's picked off from the back, but DZ's guns find everybody but Virtue. He's posted up inside a library, watching the main stairs. There's a ping there from the Goyo of Eclipse, and he gets read perfectly by Virtue. Those pings will give information. More going now as Virtue picks around the corner, but he's gonna have to hurry. Mint, he doesn't get it. Beautiful play from Virtue, and it's a 3-3 first half. 4K for Virtue, pistol out with just a sliver of time left on that. Just disabled. setting up nicely for the execute for the Giants as they've still got everybody alive and have managed to do a bit of damage to TSM. If you add Geo and Chief together, well, they're going to be at perfect HP. That means a couple bullets here or there or an explosion will stop them in their tracks, but oh. like that, Bolo and Achieved come alive. Geo shut down by a nade. Does he need to be particularly effective right now? The Giants trail. Chala finds one. Almost oh. a teammate. Nice shot from Yasera. He's going to have to clutch up. The diffuser is miles away. Bolo's been down, so it's him versus Chala in a 1v1. Does he have this intel? Tries to go around the corner, but Chala is there, so he'll continue to maneuver. This is a standoff. Firing left, firing right, but Chala gets felled. Yasera, a huge He's often round. seen as the reverse. Harder to take initially, easier to do things from a little bit later on. Grenade kill coming out at the very least from Canton with the four frags on side. You rely on at least one of those happening. And there's Citizen on Spiral Lock. We commented on it earlier on, looking to make something happen and make it happen, he will. Three versus three. Squared away now for G2, but time could be their enemy. 30 seconds left to go and still defenders to find a way around. Fantasy being one of those on the Jaeger, challenging down the length of the long deck and this right now is a game of cat and mouse. G2 just trying to get themselves inside of sight oh, and in a position to challenge. Miracle's just going to hold himself on that meeting room desk there on the Aruni. Now Kanto has no choice but to move in and just absolutely tank the damage from the laser gate and there's more damage flying in Des as Miracle and Highs find themselves kills. It's oh, all down to Citizen. No, Citizen. One, two, three. No. no, he does it! Unbelievable play from Citizen as he manages to get in with a triple kill at the end there, just taking them down one after another. Julio doesn't even have the SMG. He's got this pistol. What? This is, oh, this is not Ooh. a great position to be in. At least Pino can land two nice shots. Hello. And now Raps going in for a kill, looking to push. And he gets punished as well. How has this happened, Jess? A five versus two has become a two versus two. Thanks to some gnarly shots from Pino. Him and Julio to hold on. Do MIBR get aggressive here? Do they take their time? and work together, Reduct is in, but the player's watching him, Pino, with the 4K, Filippo is the last one left, Pino's looking for the ace, the C4, and it does Draw it! There, but will not have any joy this time, 20 seconds left to go, and BDS, they need to make a move and do something, and that's exactly what Breed Day does onto Hyper, Skies manages to get one, but you feel at this point like it's likely an impactless no. kill, one versus two, 10 seconds left to go, Diffuser, Diffuser is down, Des, 
Skies could play for time here. Oh, no way is he pulling this back. Got the 3k. It's Shai going in. Well, this is one peaks around the corner. Can't quite find it. Time's about to run out. Skies has clutched that up. Something special. How on earth have BDS let that one slip through their fingertips? That is an unbelievable play from Skies there. I cannot overstate how good that play was on the pulse. He had his feet rooted in a corner, Des. He should have been locked in place.